Hey guys, Rumble Super Sai here, back again with another episode of Vainglory, playing Fortress once again. Gonna change it up a little bit here. Um, I know people are talking about Tension Bow Aftershock on them, so I'm gonna try it out. I am gonna go tanky, but uh, I will be getting the Tension Bow along the way, as well as the Aftershock as I build defense as well. Uh, so we got a talk that's super late here, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and just go this way. That way we can, we can pull the minions. Or not. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'm so dead. Yes! Give me that run speed. <laughs> I failed so miserably there. That was bad. What is, uh, what's your face doing anyways? Already off to a great start, guys. At least none of us died, so that's good. Hey, why come I didn't get gold? That was strange. At least I didn't see it. The Celeste seems to be knowing what she's doing, though. For the most part, so like I'm hoping that that's a good indication of how this match is gonna go. Well, I was gonna say, man, you're uh, taking risks here. Oh man. Last, what are you doing? Oh no! Allied hero killed. Jesus. Well, we're already down two. It's gonna be a long and enduring match here. Come on, Taka, let's go. Let's do this. Ending. All roads lead to the vein. Where are they? Where are they? Those obviously aren't showing. Oh, hello. Allied hero killed. The vein belongs. Allied hero killed. I'm dead though. Can you get out of that? I got two of them, so that was good. Let's go a little bit of Okar here. Be a little beefy. What uh, fortress are they doing? So he has the Dragonheart, so that's going to be nice for him. Come on, man. Thank you, sir. Very nice. 
That's cool, man. Don't give me a heal. <laughs> We're gonna go Dragonheart just so we can be a little bit. Oh, it's less is dead. Gosh, dang it, Celeste. Let me run through first, man. Get him, get him, get him! I'm so dead. Pretty far behind now. Enemy is impressive. Taka has three deaths. Celeste has three. Great. This is gonna be rough, guys. First, we can do this. This is going to be very rough to come back at first. Well, this is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it and then I die. <laughs> How did I get uh, Glaive? He must have died by something. Actually, I went out to get Glaive and then after I said I'm not gonna risk it and then I died by Ringo because Glaive died right before I got there. So at this point, I'm probably going to go a Crucible. Dude, I cannot get away. Oh, nice! You need to fall back, fall back, fall back. 
Fall back. We're coming back up. It's good. Probably both eyeing this, uh... Somehow is like working when I'm not even around. Gonna go to the renewal now. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably that explosion at the end. Run, run, run. I think that's what it is. Six kills somehow. That's amazing. Thank you, sir. Let's go and get the life spring. And get the, the aftershock after my renewal. Yeah, I keep forgetting that my, my B ability actually explodes at the end, so that's probably why I'm getting so much money. Or not so many kills, I mean. I can't hear if they summon wolves, by the way. I don't hear anything when I play. And explode? Oh dang. I didn't I didn't activate it in time. And I was gonna say explode. <laughs> Gold mine is almost There's Glaive over there getting our minion mine. Go for dur. Enemy team stole a minion mine. Your minions have been reset. Immense gold payout collected. No 
Your team captured one of two minion mines. All right. So I'm going to work toward getting that aftershock now. I'm going to actually head back though because I'm on by myself and I don't want to get killed. So let's go ahead and go to abilities. Hourglass. We're going to do the chronograph first. Ult up in three seconds. Very nice. There it is. Doesn't say, uh, all right, let's go. Another 300 gold, looking good, looking good. Yeah, dude. I don't know what the A ability really does a whole lot of damage to the point where it's useful. Oh, nice! Who's up here? Oh, no one. Okay, well this is probably game. Oh, well, we're gonna get Yay, we won! Nice! Still can't get to the Aftershock, man. It's the second time I tried this and I didn't get to the Aftershock again. Uh, that's alright, though. So, thumbs up, thumbs up. Everybody gets a thumbs up. I think you're sick, eh? <laughs> uh, 1108. One, Sorry, bro. Yeah, you probably just like test in the waters. I felt your pain yesterday. I didn't do so well my first two matches, but I'm starting to get used to him. I really like this tension bow build, man. Like, it does pay off. The only weakness I have is when I get bursted down quickly, say when they have a Taka. A Taka, maybe Celeste is pretty good too against me. Vox is a counter to, um, to Fortress, but if those aren't there, then I don't have that hard of a time I mean, I do have to try, but it's not as hard as if, like, I had somebody who's going to burst me down. Oh, Koshka, too. Koshka can burst me, burst me down quite well. Um, and Jewel. Well, there's a lot. <laughs> but as long as you, like, can handle them, the one I have the hardest time with is Taka. He's the one that's, like, too mobile for me. Taka and Vox. Those are two mobile ones that I can't really take down quite well. Um, but, yeah. So, let's check out the builds. So, I did Tension Bow first. While I was doing that, I did build a little bit of health to kind of offset my, my vulnerabilities of having only Tension Bow. I'm really squishy in the beginning, so getting that little extra health was nice. I got the Dragon Heart. Um, and then I went ahead and finished the Crucible after I finished the Tension Bow. Then I built a Renewal uh, for team fights because it's really crucial. Then I went ahead and got the Chronograph and the Crystal Bit, which ultimately would have been the Aftershock. And that would have been really nice, especially against uh, Glaive or even Fortress. He got a little bit of health there. 
or just in general against anybody because you have your B ability which does the same effect as Aftershock after it goes off. It's like 20% of their max health or something like that. Uh, whereas Aftershock's 15%. So if you can do that, that's a lot of damage. You have the Aftershock plus you have your B ability plus you have the Tension Bow. Lots of burst. Uh, the, the, fin the finisher is your B. The final burst at the very end. Um, so I think altogether it would have been really nice to have. Uh, but yeah, so I think I might start doing this though. Tension Bow, Crucible, Renewal, Aftershock. Get your either a Warhorn for run speed and an extra health. Or if you feel like it's it's okay, you can probably go with the contraption and kind of supplement the board, or not the board, but the uh, Halcyon fold with Halcyon fold with the flares and the scout traps and keep vision for your team using the contraption since it's a really nice item that they implemented this update. Um, I might start incorporating that into my builds as well. I may have gone that route in the end since I was doing okay near the end. Uh, in the beginning, it was a little rough, but we managed to come back and win strong, very strong. Uh, Celeste was amazing with her Helogenesis. I never saw the ult go off, but I'm pretty sure there was one time where it went off and she didn't kill something with it, but she did hit it. And then my B ability activated too with that, and then I got the kill somehow. There was one time where I was really iffy how I got a kill when the guy was like pretty high health and then he dropped and got killed by me. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Must have been Celeste ult combined with my B abilities uh, finisher. Uh, Taka, pretty nice build too. That's generally what I would do. Otherwise, I would probably go like maybe without the tension bow, go with the sorrow blade, go into the attack speed, uh, like a uh, bone saw even, or even tar tar or tornado trigger, and then go into a tyrant's monocle, something like that. Or if you feel like you can go without the tyrant's monocle, go into a servant mask. It's pretty nice. I like that. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, let's check and see if we got a card real quick. I always forget to do this right in the very end. And a card! Nice! Ooh. Is it glowing gold? Oh, no. It's glowing brown. <laughs> Fairy Corporalite confirmed. Sparkly ore. One I have many of, I believe. Uh, let's check my skill tier, too. Almost level 5. I'm working my way up there. One more match. Not gold yet. Uh, I'm getting pretty close, I feel. I've managed to win more than I've lost, so like gradually over time I'm going up there. Uh, but it's just a long process. I've actually been pretty happy with my plays with uh, Fortress, and it's actually really helped me in the long run. Uh, getting to understand how he plays, and also getting a good feel for how he plays when I play him. Uh, rather than just against him. Uh, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed me playing Fortress. After effects, or not after effects, uh, fortress on hit effects. And I will see you guys next time. Later!